Actually, I'm, I'm here to talk about what uh, an NGSS classroom should look like. And it sometimes look like, looks like this, but not as much as in the past, perhaps. Uh, one of the, uh, one of the um, sort of foundations of NGSS is that we want to be shifting much more of the responsibility of learning to the students themselves. So the, uh, the classes should become less uh, teacher-centered and more student-centered in many ways. Um, we don't leave instruction out of it, of course. There are just some things that need to be taught. But, um, well, if you look at the next slide, oh, I can do this. Okay, um, before it was me, I demonstrated to the students uh, how to use the equipment, and then the students uh, would take it from here, and uh, here the focus of this particular activity was mainly uh, to learn to measure force, they then uh, went on and measured um, buoyant force effects. Uh, so they, they weighed these objects in the air, and then they weighed them when submerged in water. Um, in the NGSS, we are, um, we are expecting students to, uh, to take chances. We are expecting them to make predictions. We are expecting them to uh, ask a lot of questions and then design their own investigations. Of course, we have to model all that first. Um, we have to show them how to conduct investigations. We have to give them a lot of experience in doing that. Um, so, ways that uh, an NGSS classroom should look different um, sometimes frighten people who aren't <laughs> expecting what's going on. Sometimes, if you walk into the classroom, it will look a bit chaotic. That's thought of as a good thing. Um, mild chaos, because the students are discovering for themselves. Uh, you can't plan out these activities. Um, students will have different questions. Students will have different levels of skills, um, and students will pick things up at different, different rates. Um, do you have that video clip available? Yeah, and here's, here's where I'm taking a chance. I'm going to show you what my classroom looked like one day. Okay, yeah, at the five minute mark if you can get there, or about. And I would like to point out, even before the sound comes up, this course, this class that you're going to see was the second week of classes this school year. Back to the drawing board. I did rubber next to both alcohol and water, and then I put water in there. So the next one should be what? So, right. Oh, no. And then, oh, yeah. No, I think it should be Now, to explain to you what's going on here, these students had uh, done an, uh, an initial investigation into, uh, it's about density. They, um, they conducted an initial investigation by pouring together various liquids and seeing which liquids floated, which liquids would sink. And then they're faced with a problem here, uh, a lot of information about actually nine different substances, mm -hmm. and they had to piece it together as a puzzle, and they had to conduct, or they have to be able to present a, um, a good case, what we call uh, claim evidence and reasoning. They had to be able to uh, construct um, a presentation that would show why their solution was right. Now, this particular young woman you know, on the right hand side here was a rock star that day. And uh, you can see, but well, she was in charge, but if you were to watch this whole tape, you would see that she ends up backing down, not once, not twice, but three times. And each time she says, this time I'm sure. <laughs> and her, her colleagues in the group, it is a four-person group, they then were able to punch holes in her presentation. 
And together, the group came up with a, a beautiful presentation. Um, as I said, this was the second week of class. I can tell you that throughout the year, the enthusiasm has not decreased. Um, but um, in all cases, uh, this is what we, we want the students to be doing. We also, uh, a change from what, past practices. Um, I never mentioned density to them. This is what they were studying. But I didn't mention the vocabulary word until they just really needed it. They kept talking about, well, this stuff is heavier for its size, or this stuff um, seems to have a greater weight. Um, and then when they wanted a, an easier word and a clear word, they came up with density. And they asked me if that was okay. Um, this, is, this is kind of an emphasis of how they should be developing their way of talking about science and their way of thinking about science. It's not just a bunch of vocabulary lists. Instead, it's, it's, uh, it's something to talk about. Um, by the way, on the, 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 the seeming chaos in the classroom, I would point out that um, this level of enthusiasm is great to have in the classroom. And I checked. The number of disciplinary referrals I've, I've made in the past year is zero. So thank you very much. Our, our presentation is over, but I know next year um, the committee, the rollout team, would really like to occasionally come to the board and keep you updated and, um, and what, what we're doing in science. So thank you very much. <laughs>